Four authorities still do not know what led to the deaths of two experienced free divers early Sunday morning on the North Shore. 32 year old Raymond Tudela and 28 year old Rupert Babalta were brothers in law and co workers. Darrell Huff spoke with their boss, who was vowing to find help for their families. Co workers here at Windward Dodge were stunned by the news and still coping with it today, while their managers and owner hope to rally the community around the lost men's families. They were just getting their lives started. They both had two beautiful families, um, four children in one and two children in the other, and there's six children now fatherless, and it just breaks my heart. R.J. Babauta worked for Windward Auto for 12 years since he was a teenager, and he recruited his brother-in-law, Ray Tudela, who started six months ago in a lube shop. Today, each was honored by a memorial in the dealership. If you knew R.J., if you knew Ray, you know, they were workers, and they were workers with a positive attitude and, and jokesters and had fun at work, and it wasn't, wasn't even work for these guys. The two men were freediving, apparently spearfishing, near Velsuyland on the North Shore when they were reported missing early Sunday morning. A dive light led rescuers to one and then the other, both dead underwater. One expert says there's no clear evidence to him of risky behavior. But we have two partners who knew each other pretty well, and an accident happened. But to say something like, oh, they shouldn't have been going at night, or the water was too rough, it was raining, you know, we're divers. And every diver goes through nature. Respected spear fisherman Daryl Tanaka says while shallow water blackout is possible for two divers, he's waiting for the medical examiner and police investigations. HPD has opened unattended death cases. This is such a strange incident that we shouldn't be speculating. Uh, we need to show some respect and sympathy for the family of the divers. That was evident at Woodward Auto today, co-workers comforted by a pastor and the work. I'm very proud, you know, the team comes together and, and uh, you know, we, we were thinking of closing service today and people just wanted to work, people wanted to keep it going. Along with the dealership's support, owner Jerry Romano is encouraging the community to donate to the family's GoFundMe page. So we just want to do everything within our power to help, help these families. Knowing all that can be done will never be enough. In Kaneohe, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Daryl.